Be fucking vegan. Be like Joe Bart, so love Be fucking vegan. Tap into your empathy. Be fucking vegan. Come on and sing the song. Be fucking vegan. And Google watch today.com. Be fucking vegan. Sounds like a plan. Hello students, welcome to class. I'm Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, and this unfortunately is Mr. Isaac Butterfield, who thinks he's funny. And sometimes he's funny. I mean, it's easy to laugh at him, that's for sure. Um, he is somebody who is too afraid to be vegan. He's told me that he would like to be vegan, but he's just not strong enough. He wishes he was as strong as me, but he doesn't have the willpower. And so what he does is instead he just goes on the offensive, tries to be as ridiculous as possible, as ignorant as possible, spreads as many lies as he can because he feels guilty and he feels ashamed. But anyway, let's see what he's up to today. He says apparently that I called out his four month old son, which um, the only thing I've ever done is told him that he should not be um, poisoning her son with the body parts of innocent animals because his son does not consent to have his vegan virginity taken away from him. He cannot consent to eating the corpses of animals. And so I told Isaac, hey, don't do that. I told him and his wife, don't do that. You guys, you have to be vegan and you have to feed your child vegan foods. Be a good example. Do not feed your child corpses. Your child does not want them in his body. His baby boy was born super cute and innocent and Isaac and his wife have a responsibility to maintain that vegan virginity for his son. Anyway, let's see what he's saying here. This is Katie Karen Darkmuda. <laughs> okay, let me move this over here a bit. Um, Isaac, I've told you how to pronounce my name like 17 times now. It is Diekmeyer, all right? I know you have problems learning things, you know, not not everybody is perfect, but you know, for the last time, okay, it is Katie Diekmeyer. That's it. Miss Katie Diekmeyer. Okay? Got it? All right, let's keep going. Ah, who is more commonly known world round as that vegan teacher and this 68 year old woman? <laughs> okay, actually, it's 108. You know, why not just say that while you're at it? <laughs> Um, 58. Birthday is September 24th, 1964. Has decided to attack my four month old son. Oh, what a little cute baby. And who's the ugly guy holding him? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. The poor child. Yeah. Anyway, what can you do? You know, you, you need a license to drive a car, but anybody can stick their dick in somebody and produce a baby. She has called me out for my parenting techniques. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I guess this is his wife. Hmm. Yeah, it's too bad that she is as ignorant as he is, you know, but um, she can change. People can change. You know, her breast milk is vegan. A lot of people don't really understand that concept. So the milk that she produces is vegan. It has all the B12 and all the nutrients that her baby needs. And following that, healthy vegan foods also have all the nutrients that this little cutie pie needs. Yeah, so everybody can be vegan no matter what stage of development they're at. Babies are, are vegan when they're born because they never want to hurt animals and veganism is about ending the animal exploitation. It's about being kind, doing our best. So now even this mom here, you know, um, she's probably super tired and not thinking straight, but hopefully one day she will realize that, yeah, she should not be uh, feeding her child any corpses. It's, it's unnecessary and it hurts the animals in the environment. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. And say what you want about me, babe. Say what you want about my values, what I eat. But don't you talk about my boy. Ooh, them's fighting words. Don't you talk about my boy. You come on camera, though, and you talk about your child all the time. But we can't rebut, right? We can't say anything um, to try to help your child out. You know, it's not your child's fault that he was born in your family. 
this little innocent baby is going to be hearing from me for the rest of his life. He's going to know that I was here to defend him. That's the kind of video I made. I made a video saying, hey Atticus, I'm Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. And I'm so sorry that I can't help you. Um, your parents, unfortunately, have the intention of feeding you corpses of innocent animals who died in gas chambers begging for their lives. Innocent animals who are just babies when they are killed. Around the same age, pigs are killed at six months, the same age as Atticus is right now. They put them in gas chambers. The poor pigs scream to death. They scream from the moment that they are put in there until the life is snuffed out of them. They've done nothing wrong. And then his intention is to feed the corpses of these innocent animals to his child. Well, first of all, even if you don't care about animals and you just simply care about only your child, do not feed your child meat because meat is related to cancers, strokes, heart attacks, and it's completely unnecessary. And meat such as bacon, sausage, ham, pepperoni, and salami is actually in a class one carcinogen category. That means that it is in the same category as cigarettes. Now Isaac, I'm quite sure that you wouldn't just walk up to your baby and blow smoke into his face, right? And if your wife had been pregnant and smoking, I'm sure you would have said something to her and made sure that she stopped. And yet you plan on feeding your innocent baby, the corpses of animals? I mean, it's despicable. And in my view, it should be against the law because we, have, we know for sure that babies can be 100% healthy. All of these excuses that you make up, Isaac, are just BS. You just haven't researched properly. How on earth do you think that vegans end up in the Olympics, Isaac? How do you think that vegans end up being strong and healthy doctors and lawyers and teachers? And they are walking all areas of our lives. They are rich people. They are poor people. You know, there's also this myth that you have to have a lot of money. Beans do not cost a lot of money. Beans and rice together. And there are so many other ways to get protein. Tofu and lentils, all kinds of different things. Look, if I can be vegan and I've been vegan for seven years and I'm doing perfectly fine and so is my husband and so is my 83-year-old mother-in-law, I think that you can also be vegan. I mean, if my 83-year-old mother-in-law is tough enough to be vegan, mentally tough enough to just simply choose the soy milk instead of the cow's milk, I think, I think, Isaac, that you can do it too, you know? Anyway, let's just watch a little bit more and see what the heck he's going on about. Oh, there we trouble! That vegan teacher has had a very colourful past from writing songs and singing songs about KFC and McDonald's. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. KFC, we're so happy to be going cruelty free and changing our name to Kentucky Fried Compassion. Ah, oh, so many great memories. And then he talks about the time that I offered a 16 year old YouTuber some vegetables and fruits. Yeah, and apparently that's not okay. It's, it's a strange world we live in. Okay then. Yeah. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. The largest slice of pizza in the entire world. Again, you didn't say vegan pizza. You get another X. X. Vegan teacher wants me dead. As the sniper wolf, if you're watching this, if you don't wake up tomorrow. Oh yeah, because I, you know, I think you guys feel the same way. If you think about the leader of Russia, for example, and you think about him not waking up, I think most people wouldn't mind, you know, considering the millions of deaths that he is part of right now. It's atrocious. No, I don't really, you know, care whether mean people wake up or not. And in like growing up, I never was like, don't eat that. Right. I don't give a fuck what you eat. I don't give a fuck what you eat. What the fuck is wrong with you, Billy Eilish? Oh, you know Billy Eilish was just had a bad moment there. Thankfully, she's a lot better now. You're great. You have millions of followers. Everybody loves you. You're always like going on on all of your. Oh, that's where I was playing this character. <laughs> <laughs> called that non-vegan therapist over on TikTok. Yeah, they took down that channel. They take down all my channels, um, a lot of them anyway, um, because they're scared of me. People that meet dairy and egg industries are scared of me. People like Isaac Butterfield, they get all of the people who like them to spam all these comments because they're just 
it's 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 sad, honestly. Your channels and your you got your big belly hanging out, you jiggling and wiggling. She is involved in everything and with everyone. Well, I try to be. I try to convince the world that they should be vegan because the animals are suffering terribly. We have a Holocaust going on right now. I mean, if you are against what happened in World War II, you think it was wrong for the Nazis to take away the Jews and to murder them in gas chambers, then you should be vegan too, as your son will be when he grows up. Mark my words, Isaac. Your son will be vegan. It's inevitable. It, it, will, it will happen. Just get ready. That vegan teacher is prolific. And of course, her most popular video of all time with 2.2 million views, this classic. Does this girl seem to you like she- Oh, this was such a great video. You know, this is an anti-racism video where I'm talking about the N-word and how we should be liberating any words. All words should be allowed to be spoken, but we should be eliminating cruelty. And for some reason, Isaac thinks that, I don't think he's smart enough to understand the nuances in this video. Might be naturally intelligent. Yeah, what I'm saying is that they should retake this word, this N-word, and you know, think of themselves as being naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, and radiant. She looks like she could be that to me. Doesn't she look like she could be that to you? But unfortunately to Isaac, I don't know what he's thinking. I guess he doesn't like dark skinned people. I don't really understand why he doesn't like this video. But anyway, I think we've seen enough about Isaac. Isaac Butterfield, listen, you need to just grow up. You need to understand that veganism is healthy for all stages of development. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated it. The World Health Organization has stated it. Nutritionfacts.org has done a plethora of videos on the subject. So it's just a matter of time before your son is vegan and hopefully your wife will be smart enough to be vegan too, but I don't know. Anyway, coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Check them out. If you haven't yet started following me over on TikTok, I'm doing lives there and I am dancing and it is really a lot of fun. My TikTok lately is called That Vegan Teacher Who Sings and I have about 250,000 followers over there and you know, I'm trying to work my way back up to a million before they take down my account, but in the meantime, I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, thank you to everybody who supports me there and who supports me here. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, somewhere below, find the subscribe button. Look below, subscribe, press the notification bell, and help me get the animals out of hell. And thank you to Isaac Butterfield for doing your best to be as vegan as possible. I know you can do it, Isaac. I know you can be as strong as me. I mean, look at me. If I could do it, you could do it too, Isaac. Come on. See you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's put our empathy into action. This kitty will show us how.